Okay, we showed you how to cut your squares so that they were evenly out of a piece of puff pastry dough. Now I'm gonna show you how you get the six inch squares, or get your square and turn it into a six inch square. So there's our square that we cut. And make sure you got some flour on it. Okay, and that's a little six inch ruler. So we're gonna roll that so it's exactly six inches high and six inches wide. And this is a nice little rolling pin to have. You can get it at the craft stores. Uh, you could use it for different things, pizza dough, pie dough. Works great for these. But you can use a regular rolling pin too if you don't have one of these. It works just as well. And you wanna keep your sides straight on it. Okay, we go a little bit more. We get our six inches. Now to cut your strips, you can use a knife if you want to. A pizza wheel works really good. I've been using this pasta pin that came from Fanties.com sells them. That's whose name's on the box. Amazon sells them. I bought it at a kitchen store. And it's wood, it's made for cutting fettuccine noodles. And they say it's 6 tenths of an inch wide. So that's just over a half inch wide. If you want to use wider strips, cut them wider with your pizza wheel or knife, however you're cutting it. But this makes them all uniform in size. Okay, so now, as, as you see with the six inch, we got little hair on the side of it, but that's okay. And you pull up one of those strips See how easy they go? And you're ready to start wrapping. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.